Hey friends, it's Mr. S, and I'm here to read you guys a very special story. This is called Papa Gallo, and it's written by the same author that wrote Raven and Arrow to the Sun. Gerald McDermott. Alright, let's talk about the pieces of the book. Ready? This is the front cover, the spine, the back cover, we have the author who writes the book, the illustrator who does the pictures, and a new one who prints the book. The publisher. So when someone asks you who prints the book, you're going to say publisher. We also have this part of the book. What are these? They are the pages and they help us tell a story. So let's get started. Papagayo, the mischief maker. Papagayo, the mischief maker. <gasps> what kind of mischief does he do? Papagayo woke up with the sun. He ruffled his bright feathers and opened wide his yellow beak and greeted the morning with a ruckus. Caw, 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 caw. The night creatures were fast asleep. But Papa Gaia was awake and he made mischief. What kind of mischief are you making, Papa Gaia? Sometimes he would steal fruit from the spider monkey. Sometimes he would surprise the butterflies and send them fluttering in every direction. Sometimes he would fly high up in the sky clutching a big nut, then drop it with a crack on the armadillo shell. Well, that's not very nice. He would take a nut and drop it on the poor armadillo, and he would wake the monkey up. Look at the monkey's face. He doesn't look very happy. Whatever Papa Gaia was up to, he always made a lot of noise. This disturbed the sleep of the night creatures. They would wake up and say, Please be quiet, Papa Gallo. The parrot would not stop squawking. And then they would complain, Not so loud, Papa Gallo. But the parrot still wouldn't stop. Finally, the night creatures would get angry and scream, Papa Gallo, shut your beak. So sometimes we get mad with our friends and we yell at them. Even if maybe yelling isn't always the best way, but when we get frustrated, it can happen. At night, while Papa Gallo slept, the night creatures would venture forth in the moonlight. They would gaze at the white sugar moon and croon quiet songs all night long. As dawn approached, they would settle down to sleep through the hot jungle day. So some animals are nocturnal. So Papa Gallo is not nocturnal. He likes to be awake during the day. However, these animals are nocturnal and they sleep during the day because it's much too hot for them. No sooner had the night creatures closed their eyes than Papa Gaia was up, looking for fresh fruit and fresh mischief. One morning, Papa Gaia was especially loud. The sleepy-eyed sloth had a talk with the bird. Papa Gaia said to the sloth, You make entirely too much noise. You disrupt the peaceful sleep of the night creatures. Croc, sleepyheads, why don't you laugh and play all day as I do, asked the parrot. The day is too bright and full of sounds. It makes us afraid, so we hide from the sunlight and the noise. But at night, we can creep out beneath the moonbeams and sing gentle songs. We sing softly because we are afraid to disturb the quiet of the night. Afraid? Afraid? Collect Papagayo, how can you ever be happy if you are always afraid? Ridiculous! 
Papa Guy ruffled his feathers, twirled around the branch, and flew away over the treetops. Well, Papa Guy wasn't being very understanding, and he wasn't listening to his friends. So I'm pretty sure his friends had their feelings hurt, and Papa Guy wasn't very nice. When darkness fell, the creatures of the night gathered as usual to gaze lovingly at the moon. They looked up with a watchful eye and made soft moon music. Many miles away in the heart of the rainforest, something stirred beneath the stones of the great ruined city. It was the ghost of an ancient monster dog awakening from a deep sleep. He was a moon eater and when he woke up, he was very, very hungry. He saw the moon, round, sweet, and delicious, hanging in the sky, and he licked his lips. Uh-oh, there's the moon dog, and he wants to eat the moon. The bony moon dog slipped from the ruins and floated up into the sky. He loped along the pathway of the stars towards the moon. All the night creatures gasped when they saw the fierce moon dog pounce on the moon. They watched in terrified silence as he began to nibble at it. Then the moon dog took a big bite out of the moon, scurried across the starry fields of the sky, and disappeared within the crumbling walls of the great ruined city. So he's eating the moon! And the creatures are terrified. I mean, look at their faces. They're all distraught and they're scared. The next night, the creatures of the rainforest gathered under the stars, trembling. They looked up at the bite-sized shape that was missing from the moon. Perhaps the moon dog won't come anymore. Perhaps he is satisfied, they whispered. He can't complain if just a tiny bit of the moon is missing. Perhaps our beloved moon will grow again and be full. But at midnight, the moon dog came again. He bared his sharp teeth and hungrily began to eat the moon again. To the horror of the forest creatures, he returned each night for a week. As the moon dog grew fatter and fatter, the moon became thinner and thinner. That night, Papa Gaio kept a vigil with the night creatures. It was very dark because the moon was now just a slender crescent, but Papa Gaio tried hard to stay awake. I think we skipped a page. Did we skip a page? I think we had to have. Yeah, we did. Uh-oh, we're going back a page. Here we go. <clears throat> Rewind. <laughs> After seven nights, the creatures of the rainforest were too frightened to sleep. They sat silently, blinking at the unfamiliar sunlight, red-eyed and sad, not knowing what to do. Papagayo came flying along just then, singing and chuckling to himself. He was surprised to find all the night creatures were wide awake. Ah, good morning, ye blared-eyed friends. Papagayo laughed. Isn't it past your bedtime? It's not funny, Papagayo, they said, pouting. It's terrible. Each night this week, a moon dog has eaten a bit of our beloved moon. There's only the thinnest sliver left. Tonight, he is sure to swallow the last of it and night will be nothing more than everlasting darkness. Disgusting, spat Papagayo. Why don't you stop him? Because we're afraid, the night creatures answered in course. There's nothing we can do. Nothing? Nothing, crap. There's always something one can do. I'll stay up with you tonight, my friends, and we shall see what is to be done. Now we can skip to this page. So it makes more sense now. All right, so here we go. Papagayo had a hard time staying up. That night, Papagayo kept a vigil with the night creatures. It was very dark because the moon was now just a slender crescent. But Papagayo tried hard to stay awake. 
he was just about to doze off when he heard the creatures whimpering. The moon dog had returned, and he was bigger and fatter than ever. Ooh, he greedily licked the last sweet bit of the moon. Greedy, greedy, moon-eating dog. Look at him. Look how big he is now. He used to be skin and bones. Look at the animals. No! No! No, moon dog! Don't eat the moon! Alright. Oh! What shall we do? The night creatures moaned. He's eating the last of it. What shall we do? Hmm, what do you think they're going to do? Well, let's find out. Papagayo jumped up. Make noise, he shouted. You must make noise. The parrot flew to a high branch and began to screech. What do you think that's going to do? He made a bunch of noise. Uh-oh. <gasps> At Papagayo's call, the night creature began to stir. At first, they were they were timid, but gradually they began to yell and shout. Their shouts grew louder and louder until the jungle echoed with their cries. They howled and they hissed and croaked. They cracked sticks and shook bushes and beat a rhythm that every night creature joined in the chanting. Chaka 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 chaka. And Papagayo shouted. So they started chanting and making lots of noise. The moon dog was frightened by all the noise. He jumped off the moon and ran through the sky. He flew along the pathway of the stars and disappeared into the darkness of the great ruined city. We did it! shouted the night creatures. We scared away the moon creature! How brave we are now! We are be our beloved moon can grow again to its fullest. Papagayo cocked his head and clucked. Now, the moon dog has tasted the sweetness of the moon. He is sure to shake, sneak back. When he comes again, remember what you must do. But the night creatures, proud of their great victory and tired from all the excitement, were already curled up for good night's sleep. The sun began to color the sky. Papagayo ruffled his feathers and spread his wings. He opened his yellow beak and greeted the morning with a loud ruckus. Quack, 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 quack. Not a single creature complained. <laughs> I think it's because they were all sleeping that day. Well, that's our story, friends. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to hear it again, press the replay button. If not... We have more stories to come. Thank you. See you later.